Right, card reader door, this way. For two years now, Meng Wanzhou's life has been in limbo. While the Huawei CFO owns a home in Vancouver, she's been prevented from traveling outside the city, prevented from returning to China while her court case plays out. The U.S. is seeking Meng's extradition to face wire and bank fraud charges related to alleged violations of U.S. sanctions on Iran. Some say the evidence against Meng is shaky and the extradition process has barely begun. This is a Swiss cheese case. It's full of holes. Immigration attorney Richard Kurland has been following the case since December 2018, when Meng was arrested on a U.S. warrant while changing planes at Vancouver Airport. Now the Wall Street Journal is the first to report the U.S. Justice Department is in talks with Meng to drop its charges in exchange for her admitting wrongdoing, a so-called deferred prosecution agreement. It's been a bumpy road for Canadian prosecutors as they try to convince a judge Meng's extradition is warranted. In court, her lawyers have argued she was tricked into providing information upon her arrest. Her cell phone passcodes were improperly shared and more. The key piece of evidence that started all this, a PowerPoint presentation given by Ms. Mung back in 2013 that was provided to Canadian law enforcement to justify uh, proceeding on extradition uh, was incomplete. Prosecutors say a major bank was misled about Huawei's dealings with Iran during that meeting, putting it at risk of violating sanctions on the country. But two key PowerPoint slides were omitted. Curlin says the U.S. may now conclude. It's time to revisit, reconsider, look at the entire case from beginning to end and focus on the new. It's time to shut this down. He adds that Canada, caught in the middle, strongly wants the case to go away. A deal could also lead to the release of two Canadians currently detained in China. There's no point in going after Ms. Meng personally. You can vigorously go after Huawei, that's fair game, but you don't go medieval and grab a human as a trade pawn. The Wall Street Journal reports Meng has resisted a plea bargain, believing she did nothing wrong. None of the parties involved in talks is commenting, but this story may have leaked to help move the process along. When the public sniffs resolution fast, uh, that becomes a tsunami of political pressure. Not long ago, there were predictions this extradition case could drag on for a decade. Now one legal observer suspects it could wind up soon, given how much all sides, if the story is true, would like a resolution. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.